Okay, I was born in a very small village uh, called Kamti, which is uh, uh, which has a population of approximately, I would say, 20,000. And uh, my mother comes from there. And then I grew up in a larger city, uh, not too far from there, where my dad lived. And then I went to school in Delhi, which is where Indian Institute of Technology is. And when I was growing up, actually, I, I always um, was struck by lack of housing in India, and uh, particularly the small town where I was born, I could basically see that the, there was a great deal of need for building materials, low-cost housing, and things of that nature. And at that point, I had decided that I needed to be associated in some way with civil engineering, which would create you know, housing units for people that need them. So I went into civil engineering uh, with that specific goal in mind. Um, and then um, I came out to UBC to do my doctoral work. And the doctoral work was also in civil engineering, where I was looking at responsive materials to dynamic loading. I thought that as a wonderful opportunity to give back to the country I grew up in. and. Uh, when we were looking at the program that we would work in, um, I knew right from the start that infrastructure, housing, those would be a key part of that because that's where the needs are in India. And of course, added on to that was water, which also is a major issue. Um, and finally, of course, public health. Uh, and I think we have a, a program which works extremely well together now go towards what we call community health, community transformation. It's all about uh, creating sustainability into a program, and we have um, limited time here to make a large um, impact. And IC Impacts is not so much about doing research and writing papers. Um, IC Impacts is about doing good research, is about advanced research, tapping into expertise of people where we find them and applying them directly into the community context. And that's the hallmark. And I also believe IC Impacts is a, is a great model for international collaboration. What that means is it should not just stop at India. And I'm sure we are creating something so unique here that could actually replicate itself with many other countries. And I must also say that I think this is not everything about Canada helping the world. I think we're doing this together with the world. We are also learning from India as much as India is perhaps learning from Canada. We have visionaries in the senior levels of government here who would provide us with an opportunity of creating this IC Impacts. They saw the vision of IC Impacts as we saw it. Also extremely grateful to UBC for taking the lead, being the host institution, and having their trust in me that I could lead a large initiative of this magnitude. And they're with us every step of the way, hoping we'll make a big difference in the end.